Hello, I'm Drew from 62A, and welcome to a little walkthrough of 1469A's three-cylinder Mogo Mac. So right away, you can see where the three cylinders are positioned. Um, it's just kind of tucked away under the arm for better center of gravity, whatever. It's just easy access. The real sauce gets to when we get to this arm, right down here. Um, so it's the perfect angle, so that you can see they like tilt up the arm. Um, it's not touching the ground, so, I, so it can climb. But the real magic comes when the arm is lifted. So it gets right under the little lip of the mobile bolt, clamps on, tilts, and lessens the tilt as it rises. So, its prime state is not actually in position yet. Um, but you can see if I drive away, it just leaves it. But if I don't drive away, I activate the cylinder. Bro, don't hit my low bars. Boom. Pops in place and up, and that gives us like an inch and a quarter-ish of clearance from the ground, which is great. It makes it really easy uh, to just drive around and do my thing, whatever. I don't have to worry about this touching the ground. I don't have to worry about it coming out. It's got two prongs right where that allows it to uh, really safe, like I can pull down on it and nothing happens. Um, I can uh, I can pull up on it and nothing happens. Uh, so it's in there pretty good. Uh, and then also I deploy my ring mech. Uh, if I so please, I can do this. Um, oh, no. Lift it up. Boom. It's still an inch or two uh, or so off the ground. It tips back a little more for the for the yellows. Uh, you can see it for the yellows. I love refrigerators. All right, a little bit more. Um, but I don't really uh, do it that often. And then I have also the passive retraction active extension. So I just have a little uh, a rubber band here. Uh, over there. Uh, uh, so you can see there's actually nothing holding the cylinder right now. Um, you can see, even see, I don't uh, know if you can see it, whatever. There's nothing connected to the piston. It's really just on its own and the spam just holds it back, but it kind of looks like I have a limiter on it, but that it just, uh, the band, and then, I mean, it's pretty much it. It's it's really simple. It can fit on most uh, uh, box, um, and you can do a bunch of different ways, but that's the main concept. The arm here that leads to it, uh, so, so I'd recommend that you steal this uh, design because it's really good and, and great looking. Tipping point. Also, we have a four-piston mobile lift. Wow. All right, bye.